You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll re- be recapping SmackDown Live from September 5th. Yes. So I thought this was a uh, decent episode of SmackDown. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It was uh, not the normal slog fest than it normally is. Slog fest? Yes. That means it's slow and boring. Oh, I know. Okay. Well, then don't, I know. don't ask if you know already. <clears throat> Why not? No, I don't know. I got nothing. That means you have to say stuff. Well, yeah, but we try to avoid that at all costs. All right, very good. So uh, we open the show with uh, them introducing their new commentator. Mm -hmm. Well, first they say that JBL will no longer be joining us. No one cares about that. It's true. But it's just, it's funny because they had the camera panned on um, Tom and... Byron, yeah, and you, you can see there's someone next oh. to him, but you, you don't know who it is. Right. Well, we knew who it was, mm. but you they it's like you, they didn't have him in the shot. But yes. go on. So yes, Corey Graves is now doing both Raw and SmackDown, which is fantastic. Yes, um, but yeah, they said that JBL has been focusing more on his charitable efforts. Yeah, something like that. <sighs> Although apparently the truth is they were just tired of him not showing up to travel on time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was to do with his charity work and stuff like that. I don't know where he does it. What, or is he just didn't want to travel? I I can almost guarantee yeah. it was more like, yeah, I'm not coming two days before I have to. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, because I guess they're supposed to be there with the ring crew on Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. But he didn't show up on Tues- until Tuesday. Yeah. So. so, whatever. Yep, pretty much. It's, it's better for everybody because Corey Graves is now on SmackDown. Yeah. And he's they reunited the old NXT crew. Yeah. Or at least a old NXT crew. That's true. So. Yeah. I'm curious to see here the commentary on uh, 205 Live. Should well, be yeah, different. Be, yeah, because... Um, it's Nigel and... That other Sh- guy. Vic. Vic, yes. yes. Which I thought he was decent, so I didn't have any problems uh, with him. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Vic. Whatever. But, yeah. Whatever. Well, that just means I won't. I'll just listen to 205 Live muted. Which I think uh, Nigel is also doing a uh, main event with uh, Vic. Vic as well. Yeah, it makes sense. Which is silly because Corey's already there for Raw, but I guess it's the same thing with 205 Live. I, I think they probably just want more. him, Nigel specifically, to get yeah more more, more experience mm-hmm. on the main roster because yeah. they're probably going to move him up at Eventually, some point too. yeah. I would imagine that at some point he'll be the the Booker T. You know what I mean? Will Booker T be the Michael Cole? No. Okay. Are you out of your mind? Yes. Well, especially considering that Booker <laughs> T is older than Michael Cole. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. I know it doesn't I mean, mean assuming any... his role. Well, I know, but you... So he'll have to just yell Superman punch and stupid things. It'd be funny. Well, then Booker T's already got the stupid things down, so, yeah. That's for damn All right. sure. Anyway, so... Up next, we had a promo from Randy Orton and then Shinsuke. It was a little odd. Yeah. Like, it was just the placement was odd. I guess if they would have done this maybe before the match, it would have been... Well, but... later on in the yeah. show, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, well, this, that's the weird thing. is because this is like a very old school promo. Yeah. Where it's like they're talking to the camera about somebody. Right um but yeah like what uh, orton basically just said that he's gonna take out nakamura with the rko yeah yeah he was basically was saying that last week the reason why he rko'd nakamura which i don't remember the exact reason because i was yeah oh oh you mean what he said Yeah, yeah, yeah okay and basically he he said that no one would stand in his way from reclaiming the title from jinder um and then jinder not gender um nakamura he responded in turn which is actually pretty good from him yeah i mean you still had the idiots going what huh yeah so um but he says that now that he knows what it feels like to eat an rko he but um so he's better off because uh randy doesn't know what it's like to get hit with the kinshasa yes so like i said uh, uh, randy's delivery was actually very good it was very Mm. stone Stone faced and dead behind the eyes. Yeah, Look like Jason Jordan. Wow, <laughs> you know. So, but yeah, it was it was it was 
pretty good. Yeah. Like I said, the placement wasn't ideal. Like, I'm guessing this happened during the Carmella and Ellsworth uh, entrance, right? Because didn't we open the show and they were already in the ring? Yes, but at the same time, I think they don't do backstage stuff that isn't shown on the Titantron. Oh, so okay. I think yeah. this is another instance yeah. where they came out before the show started mm, and they were just standing they there. were just standing in the ring until that until uh, so they introduced Corey, then they played the promo right and then they turned carmela's music back on and then it's that's possible. when she started talking it's definitely possible yeah so right. yeah. um but yeah the so, go ahead no you go ahead i was just gonna say the uh the next segment starts with um carmela and james Ellsworth. Carmelsworth. Carmelsworth. She uh she has the microphone, she starts talking, and then KO's music starts playing. Yes. So I'm like, oh my god, this is awesome. Even before anything happened, I'm like, oh, he's gonna start <laughs> he's gonna interrupt. Beat up Ellsworth. Well no, I was thinking he's gonna interrupt everybody now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so he comes out, there's a ref in the ring with Carmelsworth as well. He comes up to the ref. He's <laughs> like Give me your shirt. Yeah. I'm going to give you the ref. I need your shirt. <laughs> and the ref's like, no, Kevin, I can't give you my shirt. No, don't give me, me. Give me your shirt. Yeah, because this was going to be the Carmella versus Natalia match. Yes. Um, so Shane comes out afterwards, uh, and they start. a little dancing thing. Well, of course. Tells tells Shane, and t- tells Owens that he's not allowed to do whatever he wants, mm-hmm. and that he won't put up with this stuff. And, and then he sh- needs to stop blaming Shane for all of his losses. Mm-hmm. He needs to ter- take some responsibility and blame himself. Yeah. Um, oh, what else? I know there's something else that was said. Well, uh, uh, Owen says that Shane just needs to be the center of attention. That's yeah, why but he's... I think before this he was just going back, going back and forth about uh, be- if he was still on Raw and under this. Well, yeah, he happened. said he said he he would wish that he was yeah. still on Raw, like when I was Universal Champion. Yeah, and then. Shane said something about Triple H just handing right. the Universal title mm-hmm. to uh, to Owens. Yeah. Um, but he also, uh, and then Owens says that uh, Shane needs to be the center of, the t- mm-hmm. of attention, and that's why he keeps on putting his nose in Everybody. Owens' business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like, is this because your dad didn't give you show you enough love? Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, and then Owen says that the McMahon family would be better off without Shane. Mm. And, then he, and then he says, or is this later? No, I, th- I think what it was was that he was going through when he was saying that Shane needed to be the center of attention. Like, Look, Dad, I can jump off the cage. Look, Dad, I can fall out of a helicopter. <laughs> or whatever he said. Yeah. Um, earlier, he had said something about Shane's kids, and then Shane told him yeah. not to mention his kids right. again. And then later on, at the end of the promo... He says that everyone would be better off with with if you had had you not survived that helicopter crash, yeah, exactly. even your kids, and yeah. that's when like, Shane snapped. Yeah, he was like, uh, you know, uh, your family, and then he goes, your wife, and even your kids, mm-hmm. and then Owen puts his hands up because he knew it was coming. Yeah, it was perfect. Uh, so Shane just beats up on Owens. They end up rolling around on the commentating mm-hmm. table. And uh, Dan O'Brien comes down, and he pretty much just rips Shane off yeah. of him, and just that's pretty much at it. Him. Yeah, but uh, it was a good opening segment. Um, Different. Yeah, I mean, I kind of think we're still speculating a Hell in a Cell match between them. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we'll get to it later on, but I think this is more of a setting up than a distancing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, after after I guess they went to commercial. Yeah, and then we were backstage, and Daniel Bryan was apologizing to Owens about Shane putting his hands on him, and Owens is like, "I'm I'm, I'm this is gonna be my show. I'm gonna sue the McMahons, and this is gonna be the Kevin Owens show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna make everybody's lives a living hell. Ah, uh, good stuff. It's true. Yeah, the real oh, Kevin Owens, Owens is the best. He is." So uh, up next, we had the Carmella versus Natalia match, which they were just standing outside the ring for all this time. Mm-hmm. Or at least Carmella and Ellsworth. Was. Yeah, it was very funny because they kind of just awkwardly hang, yeah. hung out, probably for a good 20 minutes. Yeah. So I don't know about you, but I think this was Carmella's strongest showing. Oh, yeah. I thought she, she was really, really good. good. Yeah. yeah. I was because 
I don't know if they're trying to actually build her up now. Yeah. But she was actually doing things. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know if it was Natalia as well, if they just gelled well together. But I It mean, could be. Because Carmella's role was just kind of like Enzo almost, just getting beaten around. And... Oh, you mean previously? Yeah. Okay, like I was going to say. She, she would just, you know, get kicked mm -hmm. and smacked in the ass and all this other stuff. Yeah, she uh, she definitely put in a good, yeah. uh, good showing. Um, much more physical than normal. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Carmel had the upper hand. I think she just hit a super kick, right? Or a kick, yeah. whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, for some reason, James Ellsworth gets up on the apron, and he drops the briefcase well, into the ring. Well, the reason was because he thought she was going to win. Oh, is So that... he, he came into the ring to celebrate. Uh, <laughs> and so when he was coming up, he dropped she the briefcase. She didn't even pin, him, pin well, her yet. <laughs> she, she was in the process of pinning her. Yeah, I guess. So I guess he just assumed that she was going to get Premature. the three. Premature. Yeah, exactly. And um, so that's when... Um, yeah, so Ellsworth drops the briefcase in the ring, and the referee grabs him and is like, you want to use this? She's like, no! She starts yelling at Ellsworth. Yeah. And then uh, at this point, uh, while she was distracted, Natty just rolled her up for the three count. Yes. So, um, yeah. It's, like I said, it was a good match. Mm-hmm. The, the the ending made sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, absolutely. So they're like I said, they've been doing a very good job with her Money in the Bank. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess Rain. Yeah, and adding Ellsworth just adds that extra bit of mm -hmm. you know. Well, it's someone to play off of. Right. It's a lot harder to hold the hold something by yourself. So. Um, and tell people about concussions. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, anyway, so. Um, <laughs> So yeah, after the match, Carmel grabs the microphone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And she calls Ellsworth a sorry excuse for a human being, mm -hmm. and then she goes on and says he's not even a human being. And then uh, it's the chinless wonder. Yeah, she's like, "How do you even have a job still?" And then she calls him a charity case, which was kind of a uh, it was an odd choice considering uh, the theme for things. But you know, whatever. Well, but, uh, any other time it would have been fine. Yeah, so yeah, no, the that's timing. that's the weird part. Yeah. But it's all scripted anyway, so it's true. Um, and then she said that he should have been, his mother should have given him away at birth. Yeah, a little harsh, <laughs> but you know, whatever. Uh, well, yeah, because up next we had the Connor's Cure video segment. Yeah, yeah. It was just poor timing. But... It, was, it was the same video as the night before. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So, no real need to get in into that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, up next was probably the worst segment of the night. Uh, that's pretty fair. Yeah. So uh, it was the re-debut of Dolph Ziggler. Mr. Ziggles, get yes, it right. Yes, Mr. Ziggles. I do like that name. Yeah. Um, so he comes out, same music, it looks exactly the same. Commentator's like, isn't that just Dolph Ziggler? <laughs> um, and then he's going like, I, I, I don't like it that you guys just sit on your hands mm -hmm. despite the fact that I'm the best in the ring. Right, yeah. And you guys need, like, a fancy gimmick yeah. in order for people to enjoy you and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, so he goes into the back and says that, okay, if you want, if that's what you want, that's what you'll get. Yeah, and at this point, I guess he was supposed to pretend like he was leaving. Yeah. And then John Cena's music hits. <laughs> no crowd reaction. <laughs> well, it's because they knew what was going on. I'm surprised. Well, you know. <laughs> well, this, this isn't The Miz coming out yeah, as John no, Cena. Know. This was, okay, this is obvious what was going on. That's true. Um, so he comes out, and he's got, I think, a hat on, and he's maybe wearing John Cena's shirt? Yeah, I think he had the shirt. Um, and then he was like, oh, I'm just going to sell some merchandise and stuff like that. Um, and then... <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. That was good. Yeah. And then, then does the same thing, and he goes in the back. The and... next one was Macho Man? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, that was... Shit, whose wife was that? Oh, Eugene, Nick Dinsmore. Remember Eugene? Yes, that I was remember. his wife. No, no, it's funny. There was a sign in the crowd. It said Eugene. A, yeah, I saw that. I don't remember what it said, was. I think it said Eugene's Eugene. show. Empire? Yeah, it was I think it said like the that. Eugene show Maybe. or something like yeah. that. Maybe and was... I was thinking about that, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Him. Yes, it, would, it kind of makes sense. Maybe it was like a like that a family. Was so good. It was so in poor it was, taste, but it, it was it good. was portrayed well. Yeah, that, that, that's it. It was it was it was um, performed as well as possible. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, that would make that makes more sense then. <laughs> and then after that, it was he dressed up as Naomi. Oh man, the internet lost their shit on this one. Yeah, it was definitely strange because you know everybody was making fun of him, saying, "Oh, he he pulled off Naomi's entrance better than she had. She does." And then everybody was crying about it. It's like, come on, people, it's just an entrance. Which, to be fair, that's what Naomi has become, kind of just an entrance. You know, that's. Eh, that's kind of what they focus everything well, that, yeah, around. Well, that's, yeah, that's the big thing with them. But yeah. she's, it's not like she's a... No, she's good in the ring. Yeah. 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 But it, it is the the main part of it, mm-hmm. yes. Um, that's I should say that's probably why she got pushed. Yeah. Because of the entrance, but... It's something different. It's true. Um, but yeah, then he says, you know, anybody can do gimmicks, but no one can do what I can do in the ring. Mm-hmm. And then he said that they all make him sick talking about the crowd, mm-hmm. and then he walks to the back. Now, this would have been perfect for Bobby Roode to come out. And attack him? Or just come out with the uh, Oh, with this entrance? entrance? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's funny, because as he was walking back, I'm like, okay, he's going to get attacked yeah. by somebody, and right? And that was it, and I was yeah. like, really? That's yeah. it? That was weird. Eh. But whatever. Give mm-hmm. it time. It, or kill it and have an, Set uh, it Dolph Ziggler disappear. Give it to Bray, Bray Wyatt? Yeah, it's a great idea. Um, So I guess... I mean, this is pure speculation, but I think his contract is up soon. Yeah, I was going to say, I heard he was <clears throat> leaving soon. I guess he's going to be a comedian somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Whatever works for you. Yeah, it's just a shame that they could never get his character right, or I don't know if it was um, him. No, that's not what the problem is. He got hurt at the wrong time. Uh, when when he cashed in his, his oh, with, money in the bank. Oh, when he was with uh, Big E and AJ. Lee? Yeah, because I know a lot of people always reference back to that being his... When, when he got hurt at the beginning of his first title reign, mm-hmm. and that was, that was that it. That was it. I gotcha. So, all right. So, uh, up next, we had uh, Sami Zayn versus Aiden English. Mm-hmm. A rematch from last week because... Yes. Um, Owens be- and injected himself in, uh, into the match as the special ref- guest referee. Yeah, and then Shane made the match not count. Mm-hmm. Match so. doesn't count. Sammy doesn't get the loss. Like, oh, thanks for pointing that out. Shane. Yeah. So, um, this was very quick. This was like, oh well, two minute match, if that. Well, it's an Aiden English match. That's, That's true. Short. But he was on the winning end. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Um. So, uh, what? Uh, Sammy went for a crossbody. Yeah, he Aiden, went to the top rope for a crossbody. Aiden English ducks out of the way, rolls him up for the win. Yep um so after that in english starts singing and then uh sammy zane kind of just like nope not having it and chases him <laughs> to the back of the yeah i don't know man oh well, you, you don't do. you don't no. like what they're doing with aiden english oh that's fine aiden's fine i have no problem with that it's yeah. just it, this is roll all over again with sammy yeah we just not, don't know what to do with it's him. yeah it's not good but they also really don't know what to do with Ty either. Well, that's true. But I think it, well, we'll get to it when we get to it. Okay. So. If, if you were going to say what I think you are going to say, it doesn't matter because it's going to be Corbin and AJ coming up anyway. No, I wasn't going to say Oh, okay. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Um, Give me a little more credit, man. Trying, trying, to, yeah. trying to be proactive. <laughs> so... Up next, we have a backstage segment with Daniel Bryan. He was just standing there. I don't know. What was he just contemplating? Just talking? Well, he, talking was, he was in a lot of distress yeah. because of what was going on That's between right. Shane and Owens. Yeah. So all of a sudden, the New Day comes up, rolling up in their uh, new WWE boxers. <laughs> of course. As they, they, That's, they, it's, <laughs> it's a great idea to let Big E walk around with no <laughs> pants on. So they hand uh, Daniel Bryan a package of boxers mm-hmm. and... Uh, the Usos come up and they say, next week, tag team title match is going to be a sh- Las Vegas street fight, right? Yes. A Sin City street yes, fight. Yes, a Sin City yeah. street fight. Yeah. I hate when they do that. It's so dumb. Yeah. And uh, so then Daniel Bryan gets a phone call. and uh, They had left at this yeah, point. Yeah, they left at this point, right. And uh, he gets the phone call and it seemed very serious and he was going to go make an announcement in the ring. Yes. So we kind of figured what was going to happen. Well, anything could have yeah. happened. But, so, um, but yeah. what happened during that segment? Well, he came out to the ring. No mm-hmm. entrance music. Yeah, it was weird. That happened a couple times. Yeah, he called Shane out. Called Shane out again. 
Then he came out with no entrance music. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they talked about what happened earlier. And Daniel Bryan <clears throat> talks back to when uh, him and The Miz had their argument on Talking Smack and how The Miz kept going for, what was it, weeks after that? It was, right? it was a while. <clears throat> and that uh, Daniel Bryan was able to hold himself back from... Well, you know, yeah, because him down because he didn't want to put everything in jeopardy. Well, because the Miz was saying that Daniel Bryan can't wrestle mm -hmm. anymore and blah blah blah, yeah. and making him all sad. Yeah. So. Um. But uh, but yeah, Shane's like, I'll smooth it over with Owens. Don't you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And then Bryan's like, it's too late now. Your got... father called me. He yeah. said you're in big trouble, Mister. You get a spanking. You're gonna be in the Kiss My Ass Club. Yes. The Las Vegas Kiss My Ass Club. Ah, oh, man, it's yeah. perfect. So, apparently, Shane McMahon is indefinitely suspended from SmackDown Live. Um, he's sus uh, indefinitely suspended as commissioner of SmackDown Live. Oh, is that what it... I'm almost positive that's the word so that they be... used. So... You come back as a wrestler. Well, that's, that's what I was getting at before. I gotcha. That... So, now that he's not going to be like the commissioner for a while that means he's gonna come in as a a competitor yeah so that's 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 gotta no, be that, ma that makes more sense yeah um you think they're gonna write him off tv or no. after this or you think mm -hmm. he'll just come back to oh, oh you mean probably... after this match yeah no what's gonna happen is the stipulation is because if... well because i'm gonna make a prediction at the end because of something that happened at the end oh um so we can wait to get to that, but okay. I th I think that something's gonna happen, which will lead to him being oh, well, the, the way commissioner at the end of the again. show. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I think that there's gonna be a stipulation of something where he ends up being commissioner mm -hmm. again. Yeah, it was like nine fifty nine. There, I was like, "What are they doing? The show's supposed to end." Yeah. And all of a sudden, they add this stuff in the end. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, we'll we'll get to that in a little bit. Yep. Um. Yeah. Up next, we had. Uh, an interview with the WWE champion, Jinder mm -hmm. Mahal. Yep. So uh, basically, Renee asked him who he would rather face at No Mercy, if that's even where they did they even say that at No Mercy or no? Not, I'm sorry, No Mercy. Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell, thank you. Yes. Um, I'd and, rather face uh, Heath Slater. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All three of us can have titles. Yep. Um, but he basically says, it doesn't matter since I've beaten them both anyway. It's true. And then he talks about being the greatest champion ever and so on and so forth. And at this point, I tuned out. Mm -hmm. And then he spoke to his people in Punjabi. I I don't know. I don't think they're going to take the title off him for a while. It's possible. I don't know. I'm fine with him as the heel champion, you know. I just, I think they need to build his stories better. That's, that's all it is. It is. That's literally what they're missing. Yeah. That's it. Just, it's it's just the other piece of the puzzle. Right. Because he looks the part. Mm. He has his own manservants. It's true. Um, I, I liked him sitting in the box seats watching the... Yeah. Strange. I like suit, too. Strange, but it works. Yeah. Well, um, for his character, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, you're... You peasants sit in those yeah, seats Yeah, basically, <laughs> while he's looking at all the empty seats. <laughs> Across the way. Yeah. Which, why is SmackDown the only one having this problem? Because the perception is a Raw is the better show. I guess. It doesn't matter. That's always going to be the case. Yeah. And I um, guess Raw has kind of been Raw cemented into people's heads that that's always the big show. Yes. Because yeah. Raw is... Um, oh, I got a funny joke, too. Or not a funny joke, but it's something funny that I thought of. All right. Um, so Raw is the top show. It's always going to be that way. Um, and that's just, you know, that's how people look at it. Mm -hmm. That's why Raw's ratings are so much better. There's no reason for yeah. it. Besides that, Raw is the show to tune into. Mm. So, earlier when they had uh, Daniel Bryan get the phone call, yes, from uh, from which supposedly was Vince. Yeah, uh, it was funny because yeah. they didn't say who it was, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you know, I can't be Vince because Vince doesn't watch SmackDown. <laughs> so that's so true. So that that's what like, I told you to fire that job, bro. What do you mean he's on SmackDown? Exactly. So. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's what I was thinking during that thing. Yeah. No, but very good. But yeah, like you said, that, that's the missing piece. To, mm -hmm. And I don't want, I don't want to 
what's going to, I think, happen is they're going to find that missing piece at the end of his title reign, mm -hmm. and then that'll be it. Probably. Like, we could have had this all the whole time, but well, you guys couldn't do it. Here's the problem. That guy isn't on SmackDown. Which guy? The guy that's going to be the the starting point of what could potentially be a good feud with Jinder. There's no one on SmackDown who can do it. Why? Who do you think's going to do it? I don't have an idea. Oh. I'm just saying that oh, person okay. isn't. I got you. They're not on SmackDown. The only one who is possible is Sami Zayn. Yeah. He's the only one. Because I don't even think AJ would. Well, AJ would be better than Randy and Shinsuke. Yeah. It's still. I don't know. It doesn't it's matter tough. who you pick. It, they're not there. It, it's just no one has the character. Unless yeah. you have a face Bobby Roode face on. I guess. Which will eventually probably be. But yeah. who knows? Hmm. All right. So um, up next, we got Baron Corbin versus Ty Dillinger. So oh, yeah, AJ was on commentary for this match. This is the longest we've seen Ty Dillinger on the main roster. You mean the, the longest segment? Yeah. Uh, the longest on TV. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Just crazy. Well. It's almost been, what, four months, five months? Well, yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not like Sami Zayn really hasn't been in that many long segments. No, either. I know, but I mean, Sami was generally consistently on the show, even if it was just small segments. I Ty guess that's just true. missed like four weeks at a time. I, mean, and, I guess so. So, uh, but yeah, this was a good match between the two of them. Mm -hmm. um, I think what did Corbin have the or Ty have the early offense, and then they went to commercial, and Corbin got the offense. Yeah, I think that's how it went. And they came back, and it was a little back and forth. Um, would it tie go for the tiebreaker? Yeah. Right? And Cor oh wait, did he? He didn't even. He wasn't even able to pick Corbin up, right? No, I don't I think, think Corbin so. slipped out of the back, mm -hmm. and they ended up in the turnbuckle together. The referee got between the two of them. Corbin poked Ty in the throat, chopped him in the throat or whatever, yeah. and then uh, Corbin hit the end of days, right? Yes. For the win. So. And then, and right now they're they're still booking the end of days is really strong too. Yeah. So um, it's funny because like they kind of been de pushing and kind of still pushing him. Well, let's be completely honest. This is where Baron Corbin should have been. He then, should have been in the U.S. title. Well, yeah, obviously. But right. then again, AJ shouldn't be in the shouldn't be the U.S. champion. No, but so. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It, it's hard. No, it would have been a better story, and now I think about it. Hmm. If Jinder won the U.S. title. <laughs> that would have been... Yeah, yeah that, it's, that, like that, a, yeah. it's like a built-in story. Right, right. And they could have just kind of did what Kevin Owens did, but made it much more significant. Yeah. Like the new face of America. Yeah. Yeah. So dumb. But without Kevin Owens doing it, we probably wouldn't have thought about, you know. Well, no, I'm just saying that just in general, if you have a guy that's anti-American, yeah. quote-unquote, because obviously that's not the real case. Right. But if that's the character you're portraying, why not have the title that's supposed to represent a country? Yeah, just because, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, that, that makes sense. But well, I, know, I know why they did the way they did, but both right. would have made Yeah, sense. oh, absolutely. Still would have been a champion. That's mm. all that matters, yeah. as long as he has a big... Uh, presence on the show you know the wwe it's got to be go big or go home yep so so after the match uh ty was walking backstage and aj comes up to him and he says you know Cor Cor that's just corbin's game he's always going to try to win cheap and he did successfully tonight yeah they, uh, he said the same thing twice it was like a it was like a cheap cheap shot artist i yeah, think he called him yeah, a few maybe times that was what it is so uh apparently next week aj's u.s open challenge is only gonna be for ty yeah, I don't think he understands the way it works. <laughs> so, so this is a U.S. closed challenge. Yes, yeah, so that that would make more sense. <laughs> a closed U.S. challenge. Yes, U.S. Um, open challenge, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we'll get Corbin in this match unless they're trying to maybe give Ty something. Maybe it would make sense. It would be the best place to do it. Right, and um, AJ's the perfect person to do it. Since it's that, the was it Sin City SmackDown? Yeah. They might not have Baron interfere until the match is over. Yeah. So, because obviously he'll come out at the end of it. Yeah. But, oh. but it's possible. Cause oh I, shit! The uh, the tag title match is not at Hell in a Cell next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said at Hell in a Cell. Oh I yeah, just no, no, about no, 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 no. Yeah. Well, no, because you said that 
that'll be the next match. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought you meant after this no, one. No, no, no. Yeah. So, yeah, the next one will be, be the Usos Penetrate Pen- Entry match yeah. at Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Um, um, but, yeah. But then they what? They play a Bobby Roode package? Yeah, yeah. I guess since you're not going to be on the show, we don't want people to forget, so we're going to put a... Uh, yeah, they don't package. want to pull a Ty Dillinger. Who? Or, or a Luke Harper. Oh. You know, somebody... Uh, I'm sure you've heard of all the uh, stuff with people bashing Road Dog on Twitter and things like that. Oh, with the... Um, <clears throat> with the Jinder Mahal thing, or just no, in no, general? No, no, just in general, because everybody keeps tweeting photos of the SmackDown audience being bare on the hard mm. camera, well, the, the opposite of the hard camera. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so sometimes Road Dogg will talk to the people and be like, so what do you think you should change to it? And someone was like, put put Luke Harper on TV. And he's like, you think Luke Harper is going to bring up the ratings? Not like a dick, you know, move. Yeah. But, you know, it was just kind of like, yeah. But, I mean, he was so over when he... It's true. But I, I think but that... But if you bring him back now, it's, he's well, not good. Well, now it's not good. It's just like Ty has fizzled out a little bit since he hasn't been on TV. And... I, I, I don't think there's any fixing SmackDown, though. It just is what it is mm-hmm. because of the time constraint and their top-heavy storylines. Well, I meant in terms of uh, public perception. Oh, okay. Like when we were talking about before with the ratings right. and stuff. I think that there's just no... I think you're going to get the people who are going to go and the people who are going to watch no matter what, right. and then there's just people who won't. Now, how many people go and be like, oh, we're going to have to sit through the cruiser rates too? You think it's probably a low percentage? I would assume. I don't. I don't know because I kind of feel like that would be an incentive right. to go. But again, that should be before SmackDown. It would make more sense, but whatever. This is not an argument worth having right now. No, and it, well, it's not really an argument. I know, but I, I meant a discussion. Yeah, that's true. All right, so um, Ellsworth is backstage. Mm-hmm. He's uh, begging Carmella to take him back. Yes, because he's sad. <laughs> a little turtle. So. Um, this is an odd segment. Yeah, a little bit. She, she's like, well, okay. But she's like, things are going to be uh, on my time this time around, or whatever she said, or things are on, uh, good, on done her, her way. That's yeah, what I was going to say, yeah, it's yeah. on her terms. Yeah, her terms, that's it. And, and then, then she plants a kiss on him, and then slaps him right afterward. Yeah, it was weird. It was a little weird, but uh, yeah. So I guess this is continuing. I figured they were going to kill the whole Enzo Carmella storyline because her and Cass will be on uh, Total Divas together. What do you mean Enzo and her? I'm sorry. Oh, Ellsworth. Ellsworth? Yeah. Okay, I'm like, what the hell are you talking yeah. about? Um, me, maybe eventually. Who the hell knows? They, they, they do. You know how they can't the intertwine things. Well, at the same... Fans are going to get confused. That's true. Just swore with Ellsworth. Nobody watches, nobody watches Total Divas anyway. You do. I still haven't seen half of that last season, <laughs> so... I've seen some of them. Yeah, well... Your girlfriend doesn't watch them, so... No. Yeah. So I get to hear about it regardless. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. And so, then I'm forced to watch it, so... Very good. So, um, up next, we have the main event. Mm-hmm. Shinsuke versus Randy Orton. Yeah. This was a this was a very good match. Mm-hmm. This was another, I guess I would put it up there with the Cena Nakamura match. Really? I think so. <laughs> Why you thought that one was uh, better? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But I just you, I, you I, I have a hard time like getting Cena better. Well, it's true. Yeah. I was gonna say I have a hard time really getting in. Well, another thing, think back on it was pretty good. It was very. It was a lot of chasing. Yeah. Where they were trying to hit their big moves mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Um. So, oh, at one point later in the match when he was setting up for the Exploder, I was like, oh, no, it's going to happen again. Well, that's uh, certainly taller. Yeah. So, um, but at, at one point, Corey Graves said classic Randy Orton or something mm-hmm. like that. It just didn't feel and, right. No, I just thought it was funny because I think because he's st- like stumbled before. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, how would you want to bet he didn't say vintage Randy Orton <laughs> just because he knew that Tom Phillips was going to make fun of him for it? <laughs> Because, you know, that's what Tom Phillips likes to do. He likes to poke fun at Corey Graves while Corey Graves makes fun at everybody yeah. else. Yeah. So, But, yeah, it was definitely a good match. Um, Shinsuke ends up winning with the Kinshasa. Yeah. 
but before we got to that, Randy went to set up Shinsuke for the RKO. Yes. Although there's really no setup for an RKO. He was in position for an RKO. That would make more sense. Yeah, granted, it's out of nowhere. I can be in any position. That's what I mean. All right, shut up. So, uh, yeah, Randy went for the RKO, and Shinsuke turned it into an armbar. It was a really nice... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was, was a good like, spot. very, very fluid. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, pushed him out of the way, grabbed his mm -hmm. arm, landed on it. They uh, transitioned from the arm bar to the triangle choke. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, uh, Randy was able to lift him up and hit him with the power, power bomb, bomb, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then something happened, and then that's when Shinsuke was yeah, able yeah. to knock him over and hit him with the yeah. Kinshasa. And uh, then he got the win. Yeah. It's not no surprise Shinsuke went over here. Obviously, Randy and Jinder is kind of, kind of done with. Um, I think they really just don't know what to do in terms of the good storyline for gender. I think that's yeah. what the problem is. Yeah, I think that's it. So because, they're yeah. they're unfortunately using the 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 challenger giving them like a side storyline and making that the thing. I guess so. Yeah, but whatever. I don't know. Yep. Um so heading back to what probably is the A storyline on the show right now. Right, yeah. Um so Daniel Bryan comes up to Owens in the back. Uh, in the in the backstage, yeah. um, and says, "Don't worry, Owens. Shane's been suspended, so you don't have to worry about anything." That's not good enough. <laughs> so um, Owens says that uh, he's going next week. He's going to make SmackDown uh, hell for every uh, his personal playground, mm -hmm. and, and um, that'll be Daniel Bryan's personal hell. Yes. Yep. Um, and then Daniel Bryan says that Mr. McMahon will be coming next week to yeah. SmackDown. So that's pretty big, Vince was there what super uh, raw after mania yeah that was yeah. the last time it was on tv yeah. but he hasn't been on smackdown yeah probably ever no it's been a long time definitely not smackdown live um i if i had to guess the last time that vince mcmahon was on smackdown mm. stephanie mcmahon was the gm of smackdown yeah and that was like over a decade ago yeah um so you were saying something about this before yes so what's gonna happen is that next week vince is gonna come out he's gonna say okay shane's been suspended as commissioner but he can still have a match because he got physical with you yes so at hell in a cell there's gonna be a hell in a cell match between kevin owens and shane mcmahon if shane wins he's going to he'll be reinstated as commissioner mm -hmm. if shane loses He's going to be off of SmackDown permanently. Yeah. That makes sense. I think that that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Or what they'll do is they'll write Shane off for a while and it's Survivor Series or something. Yeah. They'll do something. Or... Just like after he lost The Undertaker and was back on TV the next day? Yes. <laughs> no, well, I, I think that if, if he if he does end up losing they'll, yeah. for at least a little while. Because I don't know if you... Well, I'm sure you noticed. But Daniel Bryan has barely been on TV. Oh, yeah, yeah. So maybe they want to get him more on a roll since he's back. Yeah. Because he, he was gone for a while. Yeah. And I think they like the dynamic of just Kurt Angle on Raw. Mm -hmm. So they're going with just one of them. It's possible. So. Yeah. But yeah, that, that was my, uh, my guess. Yeah. So uh, next week we have the Sin City SmackDown Live Edition, which... Hopefully, is going to be like the uh, wild card finals. Well, in terms in of the quality, quality yes, because they had a couple tag title uh, t uh, title matches set up. That was when the tag titles changed hands, right? I that's, think that's when, when the Wyatts won. Alpha. Yeah, I American... thought they lost him to the Wyatts. No, oh. they they beat the Wyatts. Remember? Oh yes, yes, yes. You're right. Yeah, because yeah, because it was earlier in the month that uh, Orton and Bray won them from american alpha yeah because they won them um, they won them on no no because the usos beat american alpha so that means that those the american alpha lost the titles and then won won them won them back yeah okay yeah so then yeah that's what happened yeah because they beat heath and rhino heath slater and rhino yeah okay yeah no that means that the whites beat heath slater and rhino Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I was going to say, like, that yeah. doesn't mean a yeah, lot of no, sense. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Now that we have established something that happened almost a year ago. Yeah, getting close to it. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you like what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.